Hello everybody, this is Aqua Tammy and we are back with the Shade Legacy. This is Generation 27, Part 27. And today is Brandon, Braden, Braden's birthday. I went blank for a minute there. Braden's birthday. He is going to be coming a teen. And his, some of his little friends have already aged up, so... Aline and Lyric have aged up. Zoe has aged up. And Noelle just aged up. Probably going with Zoe. She is from our Shay, H-A-Y, family. Which is over on our Random Legacy. If you don't watch our Random Legacy. She is a spare from uh, over there. For Generation. She's a Generation 5 spare. So... She is Generation 5 of, a, of one of our families. So she's got some pretty decent genetics. She might need a new hairdo. But you're not doing that, hon. You're finishing what you started. So come in here and use the bathroom. I know you're tired, but you know what? <sighs> you are going to finish this. I don't care. We are so close. Actually, you know what? No. Come down here and do this three times. Come play. I don't care if you're bored. Come play. What are you doing? You're out here posing for the paparazzi before you've even eaten. Before you've even eaten. Go pee like a champion. Grab yourself something to eat. Have you eaten? You have. You've taken care of yourself. I appreciate I appreciate that about you, Edwin. I appreciate that you take care of yourself. You're up. You're grabbing some food. That's very good. No, 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 and no. Child. Child. Play. All you got to do is go across this three times. That's all you've got to do. And you will have completed three of the aspirations. And it's your birthday. Keep going. It hasn't registered the third time yet. Yay! Aspiration complete. Yay! Let's double check that it's your birthday. Yay, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Where's your... Your brother doesn't age up to way over here? That surprises me. That surprises me. I thought your brother would have been like... Huh. Well, okay. Alright. Let's get you aged up. So you don't have to go to school. Open sesame. We have a cake that we saved. You can come and make a wish. You can come and make a wish. Dude, get off. Do what I say. Brayden is becoming a teen. And he's a one star celebrity yet again. <sighs> grab you some. Grab you some food. Oh, God. Clothing. We're just going to have to. Here, go ahead and put birthday candles on that. We'll say that. Y'all don't need to be eating no cake. He's going to need a makeover. Barred off spotlight is fading, as it should be. Dude, get yourself over here and eat your stupid pancakes. I'm just going to give him a, mo a potion, so I don't know why I'm letting him eat his pancakes, but I'm letting him eat his pancakes. What? 
Dude, your wife is driving me crazy, but that's okay. If you clean up those things for me, do you work today? No, you work in 22 hours. You need to work out some more. So after you clean all that up, um, how about you do some boxing? You never box, so you can get some boxing in. You can take a, a movelet solver. We're running low on movelet solvers, but your mother can always get us some more, I'm sure. We don't need this. Pop it back, sweetie, pop it back. I think that's his warm weather, maybe? Maybe not, I can't tell. Today's mail is here. And you can get over here and get the mail. Anything we need to look at? Oh, toys mainly. Yes, there's a package that needs to be opened. Oh, you got some more fruit cake. You'll like that. We got a plaque, but I don't know where we can put it. And a bunch of toys. Just gonna sell these toys. Oh yeah, but she's she likes toys. Oh, you can keep the last two. Let's see, let me move this. Put it right there. That'll look good. All right, you. End cast with you. Modifying cast. Let's see what Brayden, we haven't even checked out to see what he rolled into. Let's just check Brayden out. I didn't put it on the edit so mm. maybe Kamui Arble Bright is an insider he wants to be a renaissance sim are you serious a renaissance sim that's so boring we'll have that finished in three seconds then what are we gonna do <laughs> I mean if you get an A in high school Literally, all we've got to do is change jobs three times. Ooh. And you have this this practically completed. <sighs> is this your, Yeah, it's your warm weather. Let's not... Oh, my good Lord, child. First off, your hair. You've always had very curly hair. You just look so different. How can you look so different? Um, uh, we need very curly. Let's find the curly hair. We have this hair. Which doesn't suit you. We have this hair. Which makes you look like you've got a carpet on your head. Um... We got this hair. Mm. I'm not sure that suits you either. We could braid it. Uh, you are a weird combination of your parents. Where did you get... I think you got your mom's nose. Hmm. Maybe on this. This is this hair is a maybe. We could just forget all about the curls and just, you know, have wavy here. 
Oh, we can't have that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. We could have that one. That's like the pair you've had your entire life. So it's either that or that. I'm, I'm leaning toward that. This is not happening. Ugh. I'm just gonna warn you up front. That's not happening. Let's see. Let's check you out with some. Does that help you any? Good lord. What is your set fashion sense? No. D d no. Your fashion sense is all over the place. You've got on some of the ugliest clothes I've ever seen. Matches. It it matches is that's all I can say about it. It matches. Brayden. Brayden. Let's try one or two other. this but I don't think any of this is gonna match his pants hmm. does that look stupid hmm. Hmm. sort of kind of yet yeah, kind of look stupid let's try where in the heck did that even come from What even is this outfit? Just what even? <laughs> let's, let's just put you on a pair of slides and let me look at this outfit. What? Just what is this outfit? It's a pair of pants with a shirt and a jacket. But it's so... It's so... Did I not save the other one? I thought I saved the other one. Shit. 
I meant to save the other outfit. <laughs> you actually look good in that. I'm not gonna lie. You look good. Ah! No. Are we just gonna give you nonsensical outfits because I'm in a mood? What is this outfit? Where did this come from? I don't remember this outfit. Let's give you some different shoes. Those don't look like that. You should go with that. These might. Very weird outfit. I'm not gonna lie. Weird <laughs> outfit. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I should just at this point just stop recording and just stop. I just should stop because I'm very tempted to just leave him in it. Just let him run around in crazy outfits. What have I got so far? I've got a stupid outfit. I've got a ninja outfit. I've got uh, a Rambo-esque, I don't know, not outfit. I've got another stupid outfit. And I've got a gladiator. Hmm. Moving on. Do you like brown or something? You seem to like brown. <laughs> I'm just commenting. These shoes are going to have to go. It doesn't match your shorts. You need some red shoes. Or white. You know? Uh -huh. Okay, white shoes. Now, does this come in... Those don't match. You can wear gray. Or just white. That will look... Okay. Um, pajamas, uh, I guess it works, but it looks very sloppy. You look very, you look like a slob. You look like a slob. You'd look better in, like, one of these. No, maybe not, because it tucks in. Does that tuck in? No, it cuts off and cuts off in a weird place. Um. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the problem is the pants. Where, where, where did I even get these pants? Where are these pants? Are these, these pants? <laughs> oh. Okay. I just don't like that shirt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we should just leave it. You're, you're ridiculous. You are ridiculous, Brayden. Ridiculous. He's getting ridiculous rolls is what it is. That, you've got, you got a towny body. You don't have a good body. You don't have a waist. You need something that elongates you a little bit because you don't have a waist. <sighs> this is just a no. 
It's, it's just a no. If we ah. change these pants up, and we change this skirt, this shirt to red, mm -hmm. you can wear that. This is a no. The hat. Can we have a different coat? Let's randomize. That is better. Ah. Still not what I would have picked, but hmm. it's better. Can't leave him like this, can I? Oh, this outfit is so. Uh, it, it looks so. Uh -huh. I don't want to be gender specific. I don't want to say that a, a an outfit looks. It for some reason this outfit just looks feminine to me. I can't say <laughs> what about it. I don't know if it's the jacket or I don't know what, but I just don't like it. Huh. What is this? Oh my god, the pants. What even is that? Did ah. I just never look through the clothing for this get to work thing? Oh, that's bad too. I like this. <laughs> that's a bit loud. Is there a version of this that's not so loud? Oh, and it has a stripe down the legs of the pants. Oh my god. You look pretty good in it, but you need different shoes. say this but I'm probably going to leave him in all this for right now. Okay we're going to leave him in that for now because I can't look at it anymore. I just can't. I just I don't know what to do with you Brayden. I'm suddenly very scared for the next generation and he wants to be he wants to be a renaissance sim. A renaissance sim is just so simple. It's so easy. I have, we haven't done it lately but it's it's just too easy. All you gotta do is get an A in high school and then change jobs three times or something like that. It's just, it's not hard. If it's the one I'm thinking about, which I think it is. Let's see. Finish reading three books, get a logic of three. Become an adult, achieve level four and four skills. Okay, maybe it's not the one I thought it is. No, skip achieve level three and two careers. You gotta get level eight and six skills, achieve level three and three careers. The three careers thing is not hard at all. level 8 and 6 skills. Here dude, read a book. Flirt 
You're boxing. Yep. You're boxing. What are you doing? You're posing for the paparazzi. Could you not? Don't you have to be at work? Like, shouldn't you be at work? Oh, 41 minutes. Alright, pose then. I don't know what we're doing in the next generation. Because the only thing that's going to keep me from finishing this aspiration is that you have to be an adult. Or you have to age up to a young adult in the second tier. So I could get the first tier done, but then I couldn't finish the second tier. But I need something else to focus on in the next... Hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do in the next house. Don't care. Go to work. Maybe we'll just work on him getting with is it Zoe? Oh Mida. What is the uh, which is huh? the girl? Zoe. She's neat and we don't know her other trait. We don't know what her aspiration is. She's our best friend. What's her dad doing? He's still boxing. If something would come out, like something new would come out in The Sims, we could do that in the next house. But they haven't, you know, given us any hints that there's going to be anything new anytime soon. I keep waiting for a cult something to come out. Witches would be good. But I don't know if it's ever even going to happen at this rate. It just depresses me. Because when you hear all the big YouTubers talking about, oh, what we want in 2019, most of them don't mention the occult. They mention all this stuff that I don't want. I don't care. I don't care if we ever get cars. I don't really, I'm not really that tore up about university, to be honest with you. A secret arrangement. Alona is in the middle of creating a flower arrangement when a telephone rings. Turns out it's a wedding planner. No, nothing out of the ordinary in her line of work. That's it. Until they mention that they need Alona to sign a non-disclosure agreement before they can continue the conversation. It isn't every day that a mysterious contract comes along when you're working as a florist, but Alona trusts herself to keep her mouth shut. Yeah, we'll sign it. With the NDA signed, the wedding planner provided her with full details. A celebrity actor is getting married, and of course, his upcoming wedding is the talk of the town. They're even creating a reality TV show. Woo! On today's episode, a fight with his fiance after being accused of flirting with Alona. Oh, Lord. What are you doing? <sighs> you need to be doing that anyway, but I wanted you to read the three books first. Alright, can carry, carry on. Carry on now, honey. You're in your brother's room. Oh, I did put a computer in your room. Yabosa. Uh, 
Yeah, we ought to get the family club and have her just give it back over to him. Hurry up and finish your homework if that's what you want to do. Mm. I don't know what to do in the next house. Suggestions? I mean, we've done, like, all the aspirations pretty much. If we haven't done it at one place, we've done it at another. Sure. Everybody's sad. Why is everybody sad? girl oh has anybody taken care of the cow plant and everything up no are you still punching you're still punching but you got a pee so you're about to stop or not thank you for that are you gonna go pee Lawn is home. Come and feed the cow plant. Oh, she's very tense. Alona, get over being very tense. Stuck in the middle. Stuck in a TV thing. Desperate for fun. Go who who with your husband? Okay, you kids are supposed to be working on things. High score in typing. How what kind of shape are you in? Not bad. Get up here and play game keyboard commander play game keyboard commander you you're not that bad you're not gonna play that no no you need to you still don't have an A in school child what is your problem you need to experiment some more you're not hot right probably is hot. Did I not tell you to woohoo your husband? Sweetie, stop. Lordy, lordy, people. You go. Why is your hair suddenly bored? What uh, are you wearing? What is going on with you? Those aren't your clothes. Uh, that is an odd glitch. It's him, but it's not him. I don't know if he's going to be able to carry through with his current need for bladder. Um, that is a very weird visual glitch. 
Okay, did you get a second one red? You did get a second one red, and now you're eating. Oh yeah, she's your little friend. I forgot. Isn't she eating your pancakes? Dude, you are in bad shape. Why are you in such bad shape? At least that visual glitch went away. But still, why are you in such bad shape? Why are y'all all so tired at 7 at night? Huh. <laughs> Raj. Why are you reading in the bathroom? I'm very confused by this entire family at the moment. Oh, yeah. You might want to just go to bed. <laughs> yeah. You might just want to do that. Who are you? Do I know you? Nope. I don't think I know you, Sarah Kuda. Adult. Two of 24. So she's not a vampire. Uh, she's just stumbled upon our doorway. Hi, Laura. Oh, Zumba. How can you not have gotten an A yet? Look how close you are. Have you gotten your books all read? Very good. Why don't you come outside and do some stargazing? You might can find some paintings for your brother's room. Speaking of your brother, he's up in your room. Starving to death. He's level six. Go get some leftovers. And then you can use the bathroom, take a shower. Head to sleep. You can finally create your emotion potions. And then you can get some leftovers. And then you can go to sleep. Sounds like a plan to me. What is your problem? Oh, she's just showering and sad and... Yay, we got another picture for the wall. Let's see, where can we put this one? Let's put you up. These are awful high up on the wall. Doesn't matter, we'll put you up there anyway.
Why do people keep showing up at our door? What is your problem? No, you're probably... You have four children? You're probably a vampire. Let's see. Disney Command Center. another thing for the wall. Do we have room for two more or just the one maybe? Yeah. <laughs> well, we might keep it. So that. You're getting to bed. You're headed that way. What are you doing out here? You just standing around? You never did go and eat. Why is that? Why don't we cook a gourmet meal? Here, cook some garlic noodles. Go cook. No posing, go cook. And crap, we've been recording for 40 minutes. I should probably end this episode. Okay, you can eat in the morning then. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now, guys.